Former football star George Wu won Liberia's presidential runoff with a projected 61.5% of the vote, the country's election commission said Thursday. Wu handily beat Vice President Joseph Bokai, who secured 38.5%, the National Election Commission, NEC, said, with 98.1% of votes counted. The 51-year-old, considered one of Africa's greatest ever footballers, sparked controversy in the run-up to the election after naming Jewel Howard Taylor, wife of cannibal warlord Charles Taylor, as his pick for vice president. Former football star George Wett, center, handily beat Vice President Joseph Bokai, with 61.5% of the vote, the National Election Commission, NEC, said, with 98.1% of votes counted. The 51-year-old, left considered one of Africa's greatest ever footballers, sparked controversy in the run-up to the election after naming Jewel Howard Taylor, wife of cannibal warlord Charles Taylor, as his pick for vice president. The footballer has sparked controversy after naming Jewel Howard Taylor, left, wife of cannibal warlord Charles Taylor, right, as his pick for vice president. George were picking up the Ballon d'Or in 1995 whilst playing for AC Milan in Italy left, and arriving to vote yesterday, right? Charles Taylor is serving a 50-year sentence in Britain for war crimes committed in neighbouring Sierra Leone, but his presence has loomed large over the election. Where, who also played for AC Milan during a glittering career that saw him win the Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year, took to Twitter on Wednesday to tell of his deep emotion and to thank you, the Liberian people, for honouring me with your vote today. It is a great hope. The former footballer will succeed Ellen Johnson Sirleaf as Liberia's president next month, in what will be the country's first democratic transition in more than 70 years. Sirleaf's predecessor Charles Taylor fled the country in 2003 with hopes of avoiding prosecution for funding rebel groups in neighboring Sierra Leone, while two presidents who served prior to Taylor were assassinated. The tumult of the last seven decades in Liberia a small West African nation where an estimated 250,000 people died during back-to-back -back civil wars between 1989-2003, means a democratic handover has not taken place since 1944. The ballot was delayed for seven weeks due to legal challenges lodged by Bokai's Unity Party against the Electoral Commission over the conduct of the first round of voting, but many of the complaints appeared to have been addressed in the second round. Liberia's National Elections Commission, NEC, Chairman Jerome Corcoya, pictured, announced that Ware had won the presidential runoff. Supporters of the Coalition for Democratic Change, CDC, listened to provisional results on the radio at party headquarters in Monrovia, Liberia. Women listened to provisional results on the radio at Coalition for Democratic Change party headquarters in Monrovia, Liberia, on Wednesday. Local and international elections observers monitor the counting and tallying of elections results by staffs of the National Elections Commission, NEC, at the Samuel Kaodo Center in Monrovia. The Liberia Elections Observation Network, which had more than 1,000 observers stationed across the country, hailed a vote it said had passed calmly with better organization than the first poll on October 10, as did observers from the European Union.